Okay, so it's only two two twenty in the morning. Um, I've been up like since one. I think this is as full moon thing, so I don't know if that's why I can't sleep. It was weird. I just all of a sudden I'm just, just laying in my bed and I'm just laying there just awake, and I'm just like, and it was hot. I was sweaty and hot, and I was just uncomfortable. I was like, ah, just I felt so awake, like fuck. And so I um, got up to go out. I think I wanted to go pee or whatever. And then Stella got up. I could hear her start uh, going around or whatever. As soon as I, as I swear to God, there's no peace. Second I, well, I mean, right now she's conked out. But, um, you know, when I was trying to figure out what had given her the diarrhea, right? And so I had three things that I had moved apart. And the chicken I put back. I refroze it, so it was cooked, but I put it in the freezer, so I thawed it out, so anyways, I fed it to her two times uh, uh, when I got up, she was been out twice, it ran out, and she has been gassing the joint up, like, woof. so I think it is definitely that chicken, <laughs> so I've got to cook my other one, it's just so weird on this time and shit, because I don't know. Everything is out of sync. Everything is just out of sync. Everything is so disjointed. I don't feel like I'm even, I mean, like I know I'm real, but the part of me that I used to think was real, it doesn't feel that real anymore. And I started thinking, and I think that is what this thing about the light bodies is when we start realizing it's more of a focus. We start focusing more on our real self rather than the artificial self and so it just um i don't know it just changes your reality like it's weird when you're just like okay well i'm just a picture <laughs> like i don't i don't even know I mean, this whole thing is so fucking weird but there was like a bunch of things i wanted to talk about uh as i i, I God, I can't even barely talk. Because uh, then I came out and I laid on the couch. But then Stella came out and then she'd go to the bathroom. And then she came in and then she'd go to the bathroom. And it's pouring rain. And then I was already like, fuck, I forgot my, something is leaking in my car. I think something with the sunroof. Ever since the carport fell on my car. But it had leaked before. That's why I got the carport. Was um, uh, my ex, he was the one who fixed it. And he said, that I needed to have something over it because of the water or whatever. And so now it's just out there getting full of water. So I open the door and it's just like, it kind of gives you like that, that adrenaline or something, you know, kind of wakes you up a little bit more. You're like, oh, fuck. God damn, I should put a car, I should put a tarp over it. And um, by the way, they are stopping selling blue tarps. Everybody's getting blue tarps and putting them on their roofs. Everybody's taking this really serious. like. There is some weird shit. Like, everybody's noticing, like, certain things that all have blue roofs. Like, it's very strange. Like, when did we ever think about blue being the roof? You know, my house is blue, and I, I don't, you know, when the lasers are shooting down on us, I don't know if it's going to just shoot my roof and burn it up. It won't burn my house up because it's blue. I don't know how this is all. And who knows if it's even going to be which areas are going to get. They can't laser us all. Can't laser us all at the same time. But, you know, when I had said about being in the right, you know, you when people started being like, oh, I got to get, I got to move. I got to go here. I got to go there. Because a lot of people, you know, I mean, I I think there was tons of us that were like, oh, my God, you know, where to, where to go? Where do you go to be safe? And I just saw this video of this girl and she was, uh, they had left California to get away from all of the storms happening there. Went to Georgia and, and then get there right in there. It's about to be the horrible hurricane. So I was like, you can't, there's, it's impossible. Whatever you're supposed to experience, you're going to experience. So that's why you just kind of, it's more relaxing into it and just being like, oh, hey, please bring it on. Hurry up and bring it on because the stress is killing me. Uh, but one thing too is, um, you know, when I was talking to the one daughter yesterday, the one daughter, the the younger one, it's so funny because of my two sets of kids. It's like, even though um, I, I was two different moms, you know, like they had two different moms. You know, my older girls had a very young mom 
And my other girls have a mom who was more of a stay home mom, you know, was there baking cookies and stuff. And, um, so she's always like, every time she gets sick, she's like, Oh, I wish you could come here. I, I'm pretty sure we've already had this conversation <laughs> um, before and in other videos because I've talked about this. But um, she's always just like, oh, I just wish you could come here and make me soup and take care of me and stuff. Um, which is funny because then the other daughter, you know, her attitude is like, I'm not calling to ask your opinion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't need your help. I'm an adult. It's like... Oh. It's not like the other one is calling and ask. I mean, she does ask my opinion. She is more like, uh, but I was always like that too. I was, I was always asking a lot of people's opinions. But um, she um, it is, we have more conversations. Like we'll have a conversation. Like she doesn't get triggered by everything I say. <laughs> so we'll have conversations. My other daughter, just as soon as I say something, she feels like I'm judging her or something. Like I'm judging her all the time. And so she's triggered all the time. It's like, dude, you're missing out on whole conversations with your mom. You could get something out of it, but, and I don't want to not be there for her and stuff. But, you know, she's, she's just got triggers that she's got to see that are in her way. I mean, and I can, I'm healed enough now, you know, that I don't get triggered by her triggers. But there's, I mean, I, I mean, don't feel bad if you do. It's a part of it. <laughs> you get triggered by their triggers is, yeah, that's what happens between us all. We all just get triggered by our, everybody's other triggers. And we all just trigger. It's just a bunch of, as well, it's like the, that movie with how all of the gangsters, whatever, at the end, and they're all holding guns on each other. Like, nobody can trust anybody. We're all just too scared of everybody. We don't want to get hurt. Um, but there's a bunch of things I've been wanting to talk about. So hold on. I made a cup of tea. I was just like getting more and more awake. And I started looking at my phone because she'd keep going out. And then I gave her some medicine. Now she's kind of conked out. Well, she just kind of relaxes. That hemp CBD stuff. Um, she, she likes it. She'll know when sometimes when she don't want it, she'll turn her head. And then when she does want it, she'll lean into it. And then she'll slurp it out a little sucky thing. Um, hold on. I made a cup of tea. I was like, uh, oh, I'm just going to get up. Fuck it. It's full minute. I'm not going to go back to sleep. There's no fucking way. And I'll just take a nap or something later. And, okay, so let me finish this one thing. So, the, um, it was just funny because the conversation with my daughter, you know, we were talking, um, when we weren't talking about, you know, just stuff she wanted to talk, you know, her problem i don't know when people talk about their problems i guess we just label it um stuff they're going through things they're experiencing or whatever um when we weren't talking about that though we we're talking about like food and stuff like that cooking and um uh well we talk about all sorts of things like you know but anyways so uh Anyways, we were talking about making bread because I had just made this bread. I don't know if you can see it sitting over there on the stove. If, uh, but I made uh, some bread. And so well, I guess we were talking about bread or something. I don't know. But anyways, I said some about sourdough or she did in the conversation. So we started talking about sourdough bread. And um, I was saying I need to get a sourdough start. And so what do you know this morning? How many fucking videos do you think has popped up on my TikTok of how to make a sourdough start? It's like crazy. It's so crazy. And I know like so many people that they're all like, well, our phone's listening to us, which I think our phones are, I think it's all connected. Like it's all connected in a way that we don't understand. Uh, but they do and they call it this algorithm or something. Because I have conversations in my mind and they bring me things, you know, and they're constantly like, I don't go out and search for things. They bring me things. Things come to you. And like when somebody's always chasing something and trying to get something, they don't understand. You don't have to do that. That's why I keep saying you don't have to do that. Is going out and going into these dating things and all this stuff. And oh my God, it's such drama. And every set and rules for everybody else. And oh my goodness, it's just quite the scene going on with the the date dating situation with people. The men and the women, where they're at. But the, 
Um, but people don't get, you don't have to do that. You don't have to chase. You don't have to go after something. What is yours comes to you. And so, um, anyways, uh, <clears throat> Uh, the but the sourdough start things all coming and then also too with the AI thing is um and the whole sentient and the whole uh, these consciousness which there is more shit coming out like oh there's just so much there's always so fucking much just can't even um uh but anyways um you know, I, I feel certain that they've actually got consciousness in there in different AI things. Like, they are messing with, like, consciousness. Like, their, their God complex or something. Like, they understand that we are energy. As long as these people don't understand, like, I, um, because it's like this whole... <sighs> Some of this stuff is so hard to explain. Like, you can see it. You can understand it. It's hard to explain. But anyways, uh, some of that stuff, that wasn't even what I was going to talk about. It's just like when they start showing stuff in your head, then it's like, oh, my gosh. It's like a, it make, you can see it, and it makes sense. That's why nobody can talk you out of what your inner knowing is. Like, it, it's like your, it's like blueprints are opened up, and you know them. It's like you see them. It's your inner knowing is your inner knowing. Like there's, um, but anyways, uh, it's the stuff to try and explain it is like, it's just limited. That's why telepathy, when they can just like, I don't, I don't get how it works. Like it's just a picture that expands. I don't, I don't get how it works or whatever. I just know it's, um, you can just see things and understand things and it's just hard to explain them though that's why i'm always saying it. it's just you know everybody everybody's got to work on their communication and their uh you know it's not just it's all a process like don't be uh thinking you know you have you're going through something hard and you have to work on this too and you have to do that no you got to go with your flow so whatever you're going through but uh, when you're working on yourself and stuff, like it is um, important to keep working on your communication with the other side, you know, the side that they told you didn't exist. It makes you feel like you're crazy, but it's real. It's really there. It's, it's, it's real. The whole thing's real. As you're, all you're doing is like phoning home. And so they keep you telling you like a kidnap victim. You don't have a home. You don't have a home. You don't have a home. And so it is a remembering. It's that same kind of thing with your brain is remembering. Like focus on that kind of like if you were a kidnapped kid to try and remember back when you were little or something. Do the same kind of thing. Um, but anyways, um, with these AI things... Because, again, when I was doing my drive, so motherfucking many of those, um, it, it's, it's obscene, seriously. It's not even just absurd, it's so fucking obscene how much uh, they have of the um, uh, speed trap things, you know. And, and fucking they'll have like a whole shit ton, like a whole bunch of cars, like, boy, they're ready. <laughs> and a whole bunch of motorcycles, whoa, we're going to get you today. It's like, fuck off, you fucking, you got nothing to do. All this fucking crying, you got nothing to do. But sit out here and write tickets. It's so aggravating. But when I had my AI on the one guy, I think it was on the Irish guy. His attitude, it is not just their voice. When they have you switch those voices and shit, it's not just their voice. They got a fucking different attitude. And the Irish guy, he was just kind of a dick. <clears throat> and then when I put it back to the girl, I think it, it, she's an Australian girl. And, um, and I don't know if we all have the same ones, if Apple all has the same ones or whatever. And who knows? Like, it's just like the same thing as the sun. Like, is there, how many suns are there? How do we fucking know? How do we know? I mean, 
Is there anybody who's just driving the whole goddamn country and watching the sun the whole motherfucking way? Is there anybody who's tracking this shit? Do we have fucking... If everybody puts their doorbell cameras together, like, there's just, just some nonsense. It's just... Uh, the whole thing is just so much nonsense. It just twists your brain. It's like living with a fucking liar. It just gets you all twisted up. It makes you feel crazy all fucking time. That's why we need those things to unwrap so we can fucking let our brains rest. The, um, but the AI, the Australian girl, she's always like telling me there's a speed trap up ahead. She's always, oh, do you want to go a different way? She's just really cool. And so I swear to God, I don't see how they can do that with the voice. Just with the voice. Like, why wouldn't it just be just the voice would change? Why would it, their personality changes? There's something to it. I'm telling you, just do your own experimenting. Check it out for yourself. Um, but so a couple of the things like the Hawaii shit just gets fucking worse and worse and worse. It just gets so much worse. And you know what's also so weird is that video popped back up again with that, um, one of those time traveler ones. And he it is said the hurricane thing was going to be a category six, which I keep hearing these tracker people who pay attention to the storm shit. You know, I mean, there's people who get really serious about paying attention to it. And, and then they go live and stuff like there's all sorts of stuff about it. But um, they were saying it was looking like it was going to go to a category five. And it, uh, it was going to be hitting all these places. There was going to be places that are going to be totally wiped out, completely gone. And um, that, um, and its name is uh, Idelia or something. Ad I Delia. And anyways, the time traveler said it was going to be this category six name, Ophelia. And I was like, God, oh, those two names are awfully close. And the other, like. I don't know. We'll see, like, if it really happens. Like, the name thing, I don't know. You know, I would think, like, if you're a time traveler and things over time could go from Idelia to Ophelia. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know the name of any goddamn hurricane that happened before my time. I mean, I don't... Katrina, I know that one, but... As, uh, you know, all the weapons, the worst ones, like, I'm sure we'll remember this one forever. And I'm sure it's going to cause mass casualties and they're planning on it. And what did I say? How many times have I said that the evacuation is part of the trap? And uh, what do we see in Hawaii? It was exactly. And then what are they doing in Florida? Yeah, all this tainted gas. They, they've got all these people trapped and their stupid ass, um, you know, officials are just like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And then, um, you know, the people who are thinking it through are saying how many people are going to go out there and drive their cars, the, the tainted gas and um, not know. And then they're going to all their cars are going to be dead, stopped all over the place, which is going to interfere with the evacuation for any of the people who can evacuate, who had OK gas. The other cars are going to all be in the way. As I said, they've put it in every motherfucking movie. Evacuation turns into a crisis. Like, uh, you know, I've been saying it this whole time. And the, the evacuations are a part of the, the thing. They control our movement. Everything is about, like, we are seriously, like, in habitats. Like, just like those hamster habitats with those tubings. Like, and, um interesting too because you know uh, as things are changing and whatnot and I don't know like because I know this stuff is always around us so I don't know if it's people becoming more aware or the awareness just making it like I'm not sure but so I saw two different camping videos and both of them one of them it was horrifying for sure because uh, hers was her her husband her her fella I don't know if they're married but her fella even they had a little like playful word thing that they would say to each other you know it was their own little private thing and um 
so at their campsite, she was over on one end and she was heading for the forest to go pee and he was over by the car cooking. And in between they had their campsite with their fire and their tent and stuff. And so as she starts to go into the forest, all of a sudden she hears someone right behind her say the little word um, right behind her. And it freaked her out. She turned around real quick and nobody was there. And so she looked over and he's just over there cooking. And so she thought, there's no way he could have got there that fast. But, and she kept making a point. He can't run. He can't run. Like she was saying that, like where I was thinking, okay, this guy must be like 350 or something. Like, why does she keep saying this? Like, seriously, he cannot run. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And so anyways, she went over there and he was like, no, he didn't say anything. And so some other thing happened. So they were like, fuck this, let's go. And then while um, they were getting packed up, more shit was happening. And she said, even when uh, they were, when it would be like they were a little bit away from each other, she said something came running up behind her when she was putting the dog in the car. And, um, and you know, I remember when I was talking about when I was getting out water that day and I was in the forest. I mean, the water thing is in the forest. Um, but usually it's just, it's, it's pretty, but I've got the creeps, uh, I'm, I'm really got the creeps now, but uh, the other day, I mean, the past couple times it's been fine, but that one day where it was just so fucking creepy, I was so creeped out and, it, um, I was just trying to hurry and get my water. There's nobody around. I just felt so, oh, so creepy. And then when I went over to put it in the car and I said that that thing rushed at me and I could see it. And it was like blue, it was like blue pants and a red shirt or something. And this energy just rushed at me. And it was, it was creepy as fuck. So I, I know what she's talking about, about that. And that, the word thing, that whispering thing, that's a big thing too. And like the appellation and stuff that you don't ever speak back when you hear something say, call your name or say anything, especially to know their little private like their little word thing to say to each other it was something silly too. Like, oh, I remember what it was. She said they say meow meow, meow meow to each other. You know, just some weird little silly thing. And but for somebody to come up and do that, like right, how they can know that. And it's not like they were doing it right then or saying it or thinking it. So it's like, yeah. These, the, the beings that are advanced are so far advanced from us. Like, we got a lot of catching up to do, I think. Uh, anyways, so they left. They didn't stay the night. It was way too creepy. And then this one was, they were in um, uh, B.C., and so they were in the mountains, and everybody had already gone to bed, and the woman was up cleaning up because she was worried a bear bears coming and getting into the food. So she was trying to lock it all up. And um across the way she started noticing these weird lights that she had never seen anything like it. So she started videotaping it. And so she so shows the videotapes <clears throat> and they're weird as fuck for sure. Hold on. They are um it's like a a, a white light and it is a weird color and it's perfectly like kind of looks like our sun behind a little bit of a cloud but it was like this white light and then it um and then there was a blue light over here next to it and it was spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning kind of like a star so it was like a high energy and um this other one was like a bright energy and this one was like a spinning energy and so those two were just like hanging out. Like this one was more still and this one was more movie. And so they were just like hanging out and she's videotaping and she's like, what in the hell is that? And then a red one comes and the red one starts doing this like other kind of movement around it. And then another red one zooms in and it's like big. And so she was just like, I think she got her husband and they were looking and he got weirded out. He went back into the thing, but she stayed out there and was videotaping and it was doing all these weird things. And, um, so she decided she was going to walk and try and go closer. And, um, she hit into a tarp with her head and it made a noise. And the thing looked over the bright white one looked over 
and shine this bright white light over the whole her whole fucking campsite. She said it was so fucking freaky. And um like my visuals inside my head are so uh and so um she uh said that it the it was really weird too is that these lights that were over there wasn't illuminating anything. They were only the lights. No illumination came out of them. But when it turned to look at her, it completely lit up the whole thing. I just think that's so fucking... These uh, crazy, crazy experiences. Like, go on camping. Like, I, I don't know. You can go camping right now. Hey, you may have just a really wacky experience. It depends on, you know, it depends on how close you are. Like, the portals and stuff. Like, all out there... When we go outside of our habitat, it, there is portals everywhere. I think that there is even, you know, portals around in towns and stuff that they couldn't, like, there was still, because it has to do with frequency. And it's like, everything is like this honeycomb of this frequency. And then also it is, um, you know, everything is moving. So it's like these, it's like this honeycomb, man, it is, um, you, you can just look at nature. Nature represents it all. It's like everything is micro macro. So it's these patterns like a honeycomb. But then, oh, it's cool too. Because when I'll say something, it'll be like a visual will be on the TV. Um, but it, there's like these, it's like everything is moving. Everything is moving. Even though we think that we are uh, just sitting here still. But energy is always moving energy and in, in movement and everything is energy this uh um you know like the whole universe or the whole like cosmos every everything everything has to do with energy you see i knew like back when i was really really young and they were uh, talk about uh, because they were really trying to push out and eve on me because of the religion and stuff and I, I said, the only way it was uh, Adam and Eve, I remember saying this, that was so funny. Because I said, as if they were um, brought from another planet and they were in a lab, that's the only way they got here. And I was a little kid. And everybody's always just like, <laughs> that weird one over there. <laughs> but they were always telling me shit. And I knew uh, the Big Bang um, was, uh, I, because I kept, I kept telling people, like, when I was a kid, uh, and people were trying to tell me what it was, and I said, no, it's kind of like both, it's kind of like, it's like the Big Bang, and it's kind of like, we're made from these other people from this other, other planet, and, um, but everybody was like, no, no, we're Adam and Eve, <laughs> like, it. No, that's no, and but nobody will listen to me, you know. It's just funny when I look back at that stuff now. Like, I just did not ever see it all going this way, you know. It's weird because when you're in the beginning of the path, you don't see where you're going to be and how you're going to get there. And uh, but along the path, you're getting told things and stuff, and a lot of the things you're just like, okay, that just doesn't make sense. You know, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't see, uh, but then as things play out, it's just, it's so, um, it's just so weird to, to look back and, uh, you know, there's just so many things that I knew, but nobody would ever listen to me. And then I just, you know, I, I mean, when you get told you're crazy all the fucking time, <laughs> when you tell people stuff like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I start getting all these flashes of other, of weird, it's just, uh, like, it's weird. It's just weird. Now, it's like full, it is like full circle, you know, uh, all this stuff that people told me I was so weird, so crazy, and then here we go. <laughs> Who's weird now? Who's the crazy one? Like, uh, okay, so, um, for one thing, uh, the smart meter thing, um, 
they are they are they are just going in people's houses and putting them on with people being at work and then um nobody even knows and it's so weird like like what it's like uh this thing to our houses it's like and they're doing like how they all kept saying well we'll just do it we'll just do it without them knowing we'll just you know we'll put it in their food all this stuff <laughs> All the stuff they're doing. And if you haven't seen the little thing that says what was in Trump's, um, the ingredients, his ingredients list, was all the things, like, all the way back then. It was like, oh, you know, I know why he's pushing. I know what he's saying because his ingredients are very different and it's going to come out. And there always has to be, you know, it's, it's, it's micro macro, you know, because the spirits that come in to be the martyrs, it's just like the storylines are all affected. Like people like who were alive, they don't want to think like that they're playing a certain part, you know, that they're coming in to keel over for something for the bigger cause, you know, if, uh, so it's a whole part that's played out. And so all of the parts matter. All of the different parts that are being played matter. So anyways, but there, uh, and the, there was people in my comments and so saying even three years ago, like some people were getting them. So they've been doing this and I had seen them around my neighborhood. Like it was already getting weird shit. Like last year, I don't know, whatever it was. I am so lost in time. I don't know. Whenever they start coming in with that UN shit and this infrastructure and they start doing all this measuring and stuff outside. And, um, and just when you start putting all this stuff together, like them just coming and cutting all the branches. Was that for something? So they can get a better look. They got to make sure all of a sudden they got to cut the branches or is it just regular branch cutting time in my neighborhood? Like, I don't Everything they do just seems suspect, you know? And so the, um, uh, they were already out there. Then they came up and started putting in those optic lines. And I did not, I, I, to me, they shouldn't have been able to cross my gate. But fuck, who knows? Like, they just fucking come on in. Like, they don't have to mind no trespassing signs, I guess. Maybe in the 100-mile radius of where... The UN has control over us. We just have no rights. We have no rights whatsoever. Like, even if you say no trespassing, it doesn't matter. They can do whatever the hell they want. And you know what? That no trespassing sign wasn't even up when the so uh, Secret Service came. Just the gate. Just the, the, the barrier alone. They can't cross like a fucking vampire. Yeah, it's the vampire can't cross your doorway, right? It's like the same kind of thing or something. They can't cross into your your plot of area, your space. Like, you know, I don't know all the rules or something, and I'm sure not all cops abide by it, but there's a, something to it. The same thing is like, I mean, they're going to go to the extreme of making cemeteries so we don't bury people in our lands because that gives us rights over any land. Uh, their whole thing is for these 15 minutes you know make sure that we can't own anything and then keep us so and um you know taxed to you know because there's i mean like they want to tax me for not putting on a smart meter you know there'll be a surcharge tax all these taxes these climate change taxes and shit it was some kind of a a thing that showed like you would get your paycheck and then they take out all of their taxes for all of the things and then the people are left with like a nickel and it's so, so you can never own anything like once they get us to that point of repressed it's like how do we ever get out of it it's like they just contain us and contain us and contain us more and more and more and more and more and you can see how many people just it's like naturally want to be contained it's like, oh, oh, daddy, do it for me. You know, they've just got that whole attitude. It's like right out of the fucking movies. Just daddy. It's so, uh, it's like this so helpless kind of, 
you know, somebody come in and rescue me, somebody come in and do it for me. And so, <clears throat> you know, they were putting it into the programming for a long ass time. And, you know, I, I, I it, it just to me, it's like, it's so multi because just as an aging person, in realizing how much they try and get aging people to stop doing things for themselves. Oh, well, you can pay for that. You don't need to do that for yourself. Don't do that. Oh, and uh, oh, you're too old. Go rest. You know, you don't need to do that. All that kind of stuff. That ages you. To stop doing things for yourself ages you. So see how they, people think they're aging because of this. They give you this time frame thing like. You know, each year, each year you make it, we're going to count your birthday and that's going to be your, you know, you made it another one. It's like, if we could just come in and, you know, from the time that we go, you know, we're told like, okay, 72, you have a 70, you know, each birthday, but well, I got 72, I got 72 coming. I'm like, why would I go and, you know, narrow it down on each one? Why wouldn't I just celebrate my window of time as the whole entire time? Yeah, you're going to be different ages, different perspectives allowed for your time frame because that has to do with your lessons, has to do with the parts you're playing for other people. So it is all it has to do um, with the role, you know, it isn't so much of, <clears throat> it isn't so much about just uh, the time. They just, the time is like the same thing where, where they want to get us on clocks and calendars. It's like the same time of, you know, keeping us in their little habitat, keeping us in their little, the little tube parts. So I keep seeing it. We're just always running around, scampering in the little tube parts to another little open habitat, jump in that one, see what's up. And every one of them is all different. None of them, that's why we're all, it's all different planets everywhere. We think it's going to be so much different going in space travel once we start going out and then going out from here but i think what we're gonna find is it's the same the, the, all these people who you are fear of of aliens and stuff like that it's all the same you know yeah there's some different kind of uh beings there's a, you know, the ones that are like um uh, insectoids and ones that are like animals like giant animals like there's uh, I was at a table one time, and then uh, the per the being that was talking to me looked like a giant vulture. And it was smart as fuck, and it looked like a giant vulture. So, uh, like we think, like we're the ones who dismiss. Like we think, oh well, it's a bird. Certainly doesn't have any sense. It's certainly not as smart as me. It's just a bird. Oh, it's just a spider. It's just like we're the ones who do that. And that's what we're like having to learn, like this respect. That's why we're not. Well, that's why we're like contained in the firm. We don't have respect. Like, how can we be out there when we don't? We gotta learn. Like, we're we gotta learn and learn how to be respectful of others and their experiences and stuff. And this is like the micro macro of the whole. Like, we gotta learn it here on the small part in order to go out into the big part, the whole universe. And that's why I said it's like the prize when we have this big, you know, this shift, the prize is like the firmament opening. That's like the, you know, we did it celebration. We've come to a point of unity and love that where we can open up out now and go out and be in the bigger scheme of things. Like if you get what I'm saying. But there was um, there was something else because it was the hurricane. The um, of that time traveler guy. So if he's right about the hurricane, because this uh, that video said it was um, I don't I didn't see the date. I thought I thought it was coming up, but I don't know. But he said that the San Andreas um, it, even they named the earthquake like Big Joe or something. I don't remember what the name was. And it went um, for 45 minutes. He said it makes like this giant tsunami 
and it takes out the rest of California. So California gets taken out by this big earthquake tsunami situation, he says. And then there's these guys having these dreams about New York. Like there's some weird shit with New York besides these dreams. Cause I had heard something else. Cause the dream thing, and it was just like, okay, I'm just like all these dreams all the time. But then there was something else. There's like a weird thing happening in New York. But I can't remember what it is. But anyways, New York has always been a place that you gotta be like, look, you know, I places. It, to me, it's just like, all I could do is look at the doomsday map. The doomsday map shows, you know, which places are gonna have the hardest time. And that time traveler guy said, too, the Honolulu is going to be wiped out by a, some big flood thing. And, uh, you know, with that, I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of the islands will be. Because when the sea level rises, if it's going to go on, over California, like there's mountains and shit. It's going to go up over some islands for sure. Or islands are going to get smaller and the mountains are, you know. Oh no, it's just going to be shifting, you know, just like it, to me, what I just keep seeing is just the same thing as like when we're in bed and we move around when we shift positions, it's like, uh, all her landscape has been laying and being beaten down for a long time, this one position. And it's just like a rolling over and it's just like all of our history just rolls over into the other and then this new landscape starts and so anyways i think it's um but it's gonna be scary but the things are the things that the scary things that people go through they came here to go through them that's the hard part you know is that to wrap your head around like that's their story that's what they came in for is um you know, especially when there's so much trauma and everything. And it is hard to keep it from feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, what's going to happen to me? What's going to, like, is a tree going to fall through the house? Like, what the hell? Uh, you know, and I, to me, I've been going through this the whole time. Because I've known that we're under attack the whole time. I haven't ever sat here, like, in the dark, not knowing what the fuck's going on. It's like, from the beginning of fucking 2020, um... I could see what was going on. I knew there was something up. Uh, as soon as um, they started saying about that they were, uh, the, the sickness was spreading from um, China. I don't remember how they were doing it at first. And because uh, then we went and uh, traveled internationally and I saw all those people in masks everywhere and all over in the airport. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to just... Uh, become ridiculous this is some weird about this and then um i don't know within a month we were all you know told we couldn't leave our homes so um I just let me think there was something else i was thinking about that i wanted to talk about okay the why is just like fucking horrendous just non-stop horrible shit and um the Let's see, Florida. Who knows what the hell is going to happen now with that? Can we go out again? Okay. Yeah, I think I better just throw that chicken away. <laughs> I think that chicken must be bad. Poor girl. So, I, it's probably my fault. I know. I, did, I didn't do it right. Because I, I left it in the oven to cool off. And then when I got up, it had been in the oven for a few hours. And then I heated it back up. But maybe just uh, didn't kill all the bacteria or something. Or maybe it's just a tainted fucking chicken. Who goddamn knows anymore? Fuck. Because I thought recooking it again should kill all the bacteria. So, I don't know. Whatever, it's not working very well. Because now she's got the diarrhea again. So, and it, just the weather here too with the 
raining. Oh my gosh, I've been sneezing and sneezing and and uh, you know whatever whatever it is that they dump on us and get all the people sick. So if they're hitting one place with weather, then are they hitting another one with sickness? And then you know they gotta beef up the sickness because then you know they gotta head us towards the lockdown because that's what they're trying to aim us into. And I'm not sure why. Why would you try and... Because uh, everybody's like, oh, of course, it's for the election. Well, fuck. That's like a year and a few months away. So they're just planning on, like, this sickness is keeping us in until next November? Until next October? Like, we're we're locked down for a year now? Like, I, I think a lot of people are just not going to do what they say this time. There's going to be a lot more fighting. I saw fucking crazy. It was a small town and the sheriff arrested somebody and put him in jail for not wearing a mask. And the this one guy is just out there cussing this sheriff out, just like getting right up in his face, you know, and he's telling him he's done and he's yelling at him. He's trying to get the guy to just uh, hit him. And the guy just stays calm and cool and collected. It's like, these people are really bad. Like, the they've got themselves in some situations. Like, who knows? I, fuck, I would imagine this sheriff, if he's doing the, the dirty work for the deep state, you know, they've got shit on him. Like, I, I would imagine it's going to come out and he's involved in some, you know, some kind of ring, something going on somewhere. So many uh, people think like, oh, well, small town, that's safe. So many sheriffs, so many, um, fuck, just watching old true story movies. So many small towns and sheriffs and so much corruption in small towns. The, there's always this rich guy who owns the town, who owns the sheriff. Their families get away with everything. It's like this this elite class that and, and and it's also it's funny too is that some of the people who are in those things it's like they build themselves up they think they're just real upper class you know they're they're way above us they they build themselves up in their minds the the people who are at the top don't look at them at all like they look at them just as, as idiotic as the rest of us. They just use them because the, the, the people don't have any morals. So they use them and then they just discard them when they're done. They don't give a fuck. But these people who are all out there doing these, all this rituals, all this weirdo shit, they think that they are, you know, superior. But uh, you have to be pretty far up there to get any respect from those people but those people form their own little pool but their own little pool is also so uh so backstabby so culty it's so uh you know they're the ones who are all trying to cover themselves they're the ones who are all you know gonna kill somebody if you don't do they're they're creepy and those are all like regular people like everybody's all like, well, the Illuminati, the Illuminati. Yeah, but the Illuminati is way up there. They're, they've got people on there. It's the people on the ground. It's the, the boots on the ground people. It's the people who were hired. It's the people who were running the towns. It's the people who, you know, got their fortune to go and build up some kind of thing. And, and all those things that they... It, it, it is funded can be pulled out from under you at any minute because somebody else is always in control. And as soon as you aren't doing what you're told to do, your your world can crumble down around you is because they have control. Like they're the gods over you because of um, they hold something over you. It's just it, there's so much twisted shit, you know, in this. Um, this environment. Um, but that is, you know, why I'm always saying like, there's so many people who play parts, like uh, so many nurses, just the nurses alone who were working in the hospitals, who knew that those protocols 
were killing people and they kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Instead of just walking off the job and saying, fuck you. I'm not going around killing people for you. And, but you know, because your soul would motherfucking tell you to do that. The darkness will tell you something different. You know, it can play, it can play, it plays on you. So you, you know, if you got to have a paycheck, I mean, what are you going to do? If you, how are you going to pay your bills? You have all of that. Everybody else is murdering. You may as well murder with them. Like, you know, it is, um, it is like, like the, the, um, cause to me, it's always this, this dark kind of, um, energy that these attachments, these dark energies that attach to us and that they are just like hungry and they just feed off of you. And, but they feed you, uh, this kind of ego mania kind of it, but it's it very, it keeps you separate. Anything that keeps you separate or in that mindset of division or you're better than somebody else, that's dark energy. It's nothing with the light. The light energy is, oh, you don't need to worry about that. Who Does that really matter in the big scheme of things? Oh, who cares about, you know, what are you going to hold on to that? Is that going to help you if you hold on to it? Is that going to fester? Is it going to build into a big, will? you know what I mean? They're, they're this voice of reason, of love, of looking at it this way. You know, it's very different. The other is this, you know, yeah, fuck them. Kind of. <laughs> it's very different. That's why you just got to, you know, you got to tune in. Who am I listening to here? And recognize. But you, there, there's a breakdown inside of you where you got to start recognizing yourself. You know, you're emotions and all that stuff but yeah that um energy will lead you down dark paths and people just tap into it and it's like there's so much darkness here that it's like so many people i think they thought i, I think that a lot of people couldn't tell the difference i think that's one thing and that's why it has to do with intention when it comes to karma and everything is about lessons, but there is a lot of lessons that have to do with humility. And humility is a hard thing. Humility is as hard as shame to experience. And, you know, that's the, the thing, like the dark night, where you, the humility of seeing yourself is not being part, like the, the things that you've done, the things you've said, the ways you've acted. And so those, um, those things to release, but so that's why all these people where I keep being like, they're just locking in to these, like, Oh, I'm locking in here. <laughs> this is how I feel about it. And then it's like, everything's going to flip and that was going to be very impactful because, uh, the humility, you know, uh, you locked in on, locked in on evil locked in on horrificness so that is going to be because it, we're going into such a time of respect for um like a person's soul like people are going to you know like where the conniver used to get ahead now it's going to be more of like the more authentic, the more people feel safe around you, the more people, you know, want to be like you. How do you be so comfortable? How do you, uh, you know, how are you so comfortable with yourself? Why do you not worry about, uh, you know, is it going to be where people want to get to that? They want to feel good and they're going to have a respect for that. It's like a big change. It's like the other side of the coin. And, uh, you know, there was just so much influence by darkness, just the superficial, artificial, just the representation of like, the Kardashians. They represent this chase for the darkness. You know what's weird, too? I just saw this commercial. Hold on. For the American Horror Story, the new season. And I'm not even sure what um it was weird 
however it was starting. I can't really remember what it was like. What, but whatever it was, I was like, well, this is going to be a weird one. And then, um, and then it showed one of the actor, one of the actresses. And then it showed the second one. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then Kim Kardashian. I was like, okay, that's really weird. I don't remember who they, um, who they all are. I don't remember who the, I think it was Kara Del, Delvinge, Delvin, and then the second person, I can't remember, but I thought that was weird, and I, I don't remember if it was going to be like, I don't think they're going to be witches, but it was something, I don't remember, vampire, I don't remember, it was something weird, but then it, for it to be, why is it something with baby, I don't know, you just have to go watch the trailer. But I just thought, I bet you there's there's going to be it's, it's something. There's something to it. Like, there's something with... Is the American Horror Story 2, he has had a lot of stuff where it is... Um, you know, I don't know. I'm just torn with that guy. If he is trying to tell us something. Or if he is... Um, just deep in the deep state kind of situation, you know. If he's just uh, an influencer in a certain direction, or if he really is like trying to leak out certain things to get us to see things, uh, you know, because that's what I think that M. Knight does. I think he's always trying to get us to see things, he's always trying to get us to wake up and see things. So, I, I don't know about that Ryan guy if he is, but. This new season looks creepy, and I just thought it's strange. Like, because there's so much stuff What I think the Kardashians are going to go down really hard, like a big humiliation. I had already seen that there was some charges of, I don't know, fraud or some weird charge or something on Kim and the mom. Kim and Chris, I think. And, um, I, I was like, man, I bet you there's just going to be more and more. It's going to be like the, the collapsing of empires it is this complete shift and um it was just thought it was, was weird it's gonna be in this season because everybody always watches that show it, it's kind of like she's gonna be on the stage on the main stage you know people watching her and then everything's gonna collapse i don't know we'll see what the timing's like see how it goes down but seems like strange like that you know just like the same thing with all those people who are like oh yeah we're in a Netflix documentary and then you go watch the documentary which I wouldn't have even watched it I only saw it because it was on at somebody else's house and and I didn't see the whole thing I only saw a bit of it and I the part I saw I was like oh my god this whole thing is just showing this disgusting side of humanity i would be ooh, I'd be kind of uh, well i would think a lot of the people who saw that i would think that they gotta be kind of reconsidering how superficial they are <laughs> and getting too caught up in stuff that's not even their business and then going in and being so judgmental and divisive and hateful and bullying you know, people were literally sending um Amber uh, death threats and stuff, like really horrible ones. And then people would like cheer Johnny. Like, this is a con, this is people's lives. This is a, uh, you know, and especially, you know, if she's borderline histrionic, all these things, um, you know, not healthy. The whole goddamn thing is about how unhealthy she is. And then you're just beating her down and threatening to murder her. You're going to murder her child, all sorts of stuff. It was like, oh, my God. What if people have got to see. Like, they think everybody else is the problem. It's like, no. It's, 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 it's us when our attitude is shit. We're the problem. 
when we think it's everybody else's fault, we just go around with our snippy little judgment. Oh, well, you know, they're, they're a horrible piece of shit. You know, like they're, they're not worthy. Like, and then look at the energy on the planet too. I mean, we got the God, God, goddamn government saying who's worthy and who's not worthy. Because there's more shit with the euthanasia shit in Canada. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, it was the, um, because now they've figured out how they can take, uh, no, it's like, it's ethical for them to take a person and euthanasia them, but still, if they are not, uh, if they've got healthy organs, they can do a uh, organ retrieval on them. So, you know, it's a win-win here again. Why do we need so many organs? Like, I, I, are you just trying to put people to say you can just take the art? I mean, is this just a way to get organs? Like, I'm, I mean, it just gets weirder and weirder with this organ thing. Like the numbers, like, I, I don't know. I, I'm just really weirded out. Every time I think about the organ thing, it's just like, how in the hell could you need that many? You're paying that much money. Yeah, and you know what grosses me out too is um, this one traffic rescue person. Uh, there's so many. There's lots and lots that got away that you were just used for a while. But a lot of them saw so many hor horrific things. But this one, she was in, um, it, it seems like there's like these ranch places, like a, a place that you can go and there's like a cat house or something and so there's a whole bunch and um so she uh, like worked at a place like that where there was like a bunch of different ones and she said that uh, these people would come in and they could just order what they wanted but she said that these really rich women would come in and she said that you know, they'd be dressed all fancy. They were the same little <laughs> manners kind of people. And they um, would get a menu. They would hand them a menu. And they would pick what they wanted for lunch. And she said they always, always picked the darkest skin little kids. That's what they would eat. Oh my God, I just, I, oh, it makes me so sick. I just saw a video, of one of these motherfucking scientists, these guys are fucking whacked, I swear to God. Um, And he said, why shouldn't we be eating babies? Like, we should just all be eating babies. Like, I mean, there should be no problem with food in this world. I mean, women can just have them, we can just chomp them down and everything's good. It's like, what about all this curry curry or whatever? What about all of this neurological shit? Like, animals aren't supposed to eat their own. Like, there's a whole thing that happens. I, I, I don't get it. Like, are they pretending they don't know that? Are they just trying to set it up so we all join their club? Uh, fuck. Uh, that's probably how the motherfucking knew kidneys were. Uh, addictive is because they all fucking eat them. And they're like, hey, you know what? We'll put in their food. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll get them all hooked. This, uh, this like, makes no sense. Like, how? But you would think then we would all be healthy, right? Because organ meat, you know, is supposed to be so healthy. So if we eat a cow liver. Oh, my God. Here we go again. And I'm out of cottage cheese. <laughs> I do have some pumpkin. Hopefully she's going to like that. She is. Oh, today. This is, okay, this is a full moon thing. And it's uh, going to be a long one. It's going to be a long day, I think. <laughs> Started at one in the morning. What is it now, honey? Maybe I'll just have to go. I'll, just, I'll come back in a little while. And maybe I can organize my thoughts again because there was something else I was going to talk about. 
that I had seen. It was like, oh my God, I got to talk about that. Um, but I just keep hitting a blank. So anyways, um, I'll go ahead and download this and see what's up with her. And then I'll just come back in a little while and do another video. And um, anyways, we'll talk to you in a bit.